secrets about relationships today. The biggest secret about relationships is that they're not what we think they are. We think that relationships are based off of what other people do and what we do in combination. We make something like a recipe and this is our relationship that we made together, but that's actually not what it is. A relationship is how we relate to someone else. It's our thoughts about them. That's it. It's our thoughts and our expectations. And one example of this is I could have a friend that I just think is amazing. I like the things that she says. I like the things that she does. Sometimes she'll make mistakes. She'll own up to them. All those things, things that I just really admire. I may have a great relationship with her. So why doesn't someone else have a great relationship with her if it's about her? and how she is, right? It's about the other person. That's why they wouldn't have a good relationship. It's because they have different thoughts and different expectations from the people that they're with. So what we have is a person here and a person here and in the middle is expectations and thoughts about that person. When we get rid of all the expectations of what that person should be like, and all the thoughts, really all we're left with is the person, the actual real person. And the relationship is filled in when we start thinking thoughts about that person. And what is really cool about that is that we can choose to have a good relationship with someone by changing our thoughts, even if they don't change at all. It's like wizardry. It's relationship wizardry. <laughs> So when we decide that we might want to improve a relationship, even if the other person isn't on board, we go through a process. We start with seeing what are my thoughts right now that are creating this relationship. If I'm thinking the thoughts, they are rude. Here's what our brain is going to do. It's going to start creating evidence and it's going to start collecting evidence to support this programming. And we're going to think, I don't want a relationship with a rude person. They're a jerk. Now, sometimes we may pretend that we have a good relationship. We don't want to be rude. And so we act nice in the meantime, feeling rotten towards them. They may think they have a great relationship with us because when we get together, we talk nice and we say funny things. And in the meantime, we're like, I can't stand that person. They're so rude. Do we have a good relationship? <laughs> they think we do, right? If we were to, if they were to get wind, you know what? That person doesn't, they, that person thinks you're really rude. They may be like, I thought we had a good relationship and now it's not. Nothing changed except for the other person's thoughts. That's how much control we have to change a relationship. So here's the process. First, look at the thoughts. What thoughts am I thinking about that person? That is what is creating my relationship and my expectations. What expectations do I have of that person? Um, the next thing is, do I like how I feel when I'm thinking those thoughts? If I'm feeling judgmental, if I'm feeling entitled, if I'm feeling frustrated or angry, usually those are things that don't feel good to us. The benefit to changing our relationship is that we get to feel better. And you know what? The other person can even choose to have a poor relationship with us. And we get to sit here feeling fine saying, I think we're good right? Okay. And then the next thing, if we don't like how we feel, then we need to change the thoughts that we're thinking about them. Now we don't have to start thinking that the, the words that come out of their mouths aren't rude. We could still say those are, those are things that I don't particularly like to say to other people. And I don't particularly like to expose myself to, but people get to choose how they are and I get to love them anyway. They may say words and I'll love them anyway. And they may do this and it's because they're a human and I don't get to be in control of everyone. And I don't have to be. These are all the new thoughts that we can start putting in to let go of the reins and let people be who they are. And then also it gives us the benefit of seeing the truth of what it is. The truth is that I have an expectation out of people that they don't do that. That's what's making me miserable right now. I can change that. But then here's, here's usually the next step. Jen, then do I have to tolerate that? terrible behavior. They're berating me. They're being unkind. They're disrespecting me. 
And the thing is that I, that when we actually look at it and own it, I'm choosing to be around someone who says these words. Do we, do we like the truth? And whose responsibility is it to respect us? It's ours. If we respect ourselves and we feel good about ourselves, I love you, I love me, I love both of us, and we can still choose to love them and not expose ourselves to that and still have a good relationship. It's like win, 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 win all across the board. So no, you don't need to tolerate behavior that is not good. You still get to have expectations of what you allow yourself to expose yourself to and then other people have permission to be themselves and you can still have a good relationship. <laughs> How's that? Are you trying to make the decision of whether to keep a relationship or let it go? Did you know coaching can help with this so much? You can make that decision and feel so good about it. Have peace and take care of yourself. Just call for a consult.